Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Ravella Design. Today I am with you with a very beautiful project. This is a top with bralettes. It is very nice, very beautiful, it's very fashionable. Now, this is the back side, like this. Let me turn the front side. This is the front side. The colors are also beautiful. And now let's go on making half to this beautiful crop top, dear friends. Meanwhile, I will be very pleased if you subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the info ring for my further videos to be informed in advance. And if you like this video, please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos with your friends. Thank you so much for your sports. Dear friends, for this project, we need three different colors. I preferred these colors, blue, pink, uh, and also white. Of course, you can uh, choose different colors. I also uh, use hook three millimeters. Hope you can see it well. Uh, it is very easy, also beginner friendly. Uh, I made uh, one piece before making this video. We will make uh, the other part video and after that we will connect the two parts. The pattern of the tutorial of these two parts are exactly the same. For example, when you make one piece, you can make the same for the second cup and later on I will show you how to connect them. This cup is consisting of three uh, squares, dear friends. Uh, I will show you how to make this one. We are starting to make uh, this square by magic ring. I am doing my magic ring like this. It is the way I can do. If you know the other ways, of course, you can try. I'm just keeping this, making three chains, one, two, three, and uh, making double crochet. I'm keeping this uh, remaining rope on this circle because later on we will pull this up. and making another double crochet uh, we are considering the first three chains as the first double crochet then one two three double crochet we made we are making two chains two or three chains you can make but i don't want uh, on bikini top uh, too much holes for this reason I'm making two chains and after making two chains we are going on making the double crochets these holes uh, will be uh, the uh, angles uh, of the corners of the square one two double crochet three double crochet and making two chains after making two chains we are making three double crochets as well one two three we made one two corners like this we are going to make totally four corners and so uh, our motif our uh, model will be a uh, square making two chains and we are making three more double crochets one two three one two three corner we made now we are pulling this I'm pulling this like this as you see the hole is becoming smaller and smaller and regarding uh, the fourth corner we are going like this one two chains I'm making and 
you see the top of this uh, first three double crochets I am inserting my hook uh, in the second chain of this three double crochet making a slip stitch like this one two three four corners we made now, after finishing the first row of the square we are making one chain and cutting the row we will go on with the other colors in the second row I am going on with the white color in any corner I am inserting my hook and uh, I am tidying this in order to fix uh, this color I am tidying two times in order to fix it uh, well now we will make a loop and making three chains one two three making another double crochet in the same corner space like this by making this uh, we made the, our first increasing in the second corner now one by one uh, I uh, insert my hook in the uh, in these holes in these spaces of the double crochets I'm going to the other I'm making double crochet on top of the third double crochet of the previous row and now I came to the space I'm inserting my hook in the space and making two more double crochet this is one in the space this is two in the space like this we made totally one two three four five six seven double crochets in our previous row we made three in our second row we made seven double crochets and it's going on increasing like this in the corners as always we are making two chains and making a double crochet making another double crochet and we made the corner in the second space in the second row as well now going one by one on top of the double crochets inserting on top of the double crochets and making the double crochets of the second row like this one by one we came to the second corner space as we did in this uh, row I'm doing the same thing I'm making two double crochet in the space as well making two chains making another two double crochet I am going on making double crochets on top of the previous double crochets making two double crochet in the space making two chains making two double crochet in the space and going on making double crochets on top of the previous double crochets like this yes like this making two chains I am inserting my hook in the second chain of this first uh, three chain and connecting the parts like this what am I doing I am finished with the white color and I am just cutting this later on we will hide these ropes between the stitches after we make the square 
Now we are in the third row, dear friends. We made this one, this one, and we will go on with the blue color. Again, I'm tidying uh, the blue color in any corner in order to fix it. I'm tidying this two times in order to tidy it well. This is one and this is two. One, two, I'm making three chains. Yes, we made three chains and making a double crochet in the same space and going on one by one inserting the spaces inserting the holes chain holes of the previous double crochets one by one on top of the previous double crochet we are inserting our hook and going on making double crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine and we will make two more double crochet in the space and it's going to be totally 11 double crochet on this row at each uh, corner side like this one two three four five six seven double crochet in the second corner one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven double crochet on the third corner yes the method is the same dear friends we are making two chains making the corner by making double crochet making another double crochet like this going on making double crochets on the following ro uh, row and there will be totally 11 double crochet also at this side one by one i am inserting my hook at top of the previous double crochet holes crocheting like this actually it is very simple even the very beginners can easily make this but at last we are going to have a beautiful top it's been nine double crochet till here now I am in the space I'm making two more double crochets and I'm finishing this side with 11 double crochets as well one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven making two chains making two more double crochet in the same hole and going on making double crochets also one by one uh, till here after making two double crochets here there will be totally also 11 double crochets here dear friends as I explained like this, come to the end, I will explain you what we are going to do the next. I came to the end of uh, this row, dear friends. I made totally nine double crochets in this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Inserting my hook in the space and making two more double crochets and completing two sides. Also with totally 11 double crochets as I made at the others now making two chains inserting my hook second double crochet of this first three chains like this making slip stitch making one chain cutting the yarn and finishing this row as well we finished our third row like this now we are at the fourth row. Fourth row will go on with the white yarn as well. It is the same what we are doing. We are taking our white yarn and we are just inserting our yarn in one of the corners and tidying them two times in order to fix it. This is one time tidying. This is two times tidying taking our hand the yarn and 
making a loop after making a loop making one two three chains and making a double crochet in the same space and we are going on making double crochets on top of the previous double crochets one by one only in the spaces we are making two double crochets but on the uh, previous double crochets we are making double crochet one by one like this we are crocheting come here dear friends i came till the end of this side now i will make two more double crochets in the corner and i will finish this side one two there should be totally 15 double crochet dear friends we increase two in the space we increase two more in the space and we crochet one by one on top of this previous double crochet let's count together one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen yes as i told you uh, as i told you a minute ago there are 15 double crochets at each side 15 here 15 here 15 here uh, let's make the 15 double crochets on each side dear friends come here and i will tell you what we are going to do the next i came to the end of this side as well i'm making two more double crochets in this space one two i'm making two chains inserting my hook in the second chain of this uh, starting three chains making a slip stitch there making one chain and cutting the yarn yes that's all dear friends our cup will consist of three uh, squares like this this is square one now we will make another square let me show it to you we will make this square as well but we are going to make one two three rows we are not going to make the fourth rows because in the fourth row we will make also the uh, connecting uh, connecting uh, procedure at the same time okay let's make three rows you are going to make uh, pink white and blue you are not going to make the white one Let's come here like this and meet uh, at the end of this uh, procedure. I will tell you what we are going to do the next. Dear friends, my squares for the uh, cup is ready. Uh, you will remember we made this together and I asked you to make two more, but uh, in three rows, no four rows. Let me show you. You know, this is the cup. I crochet before you this is for this one this is for this one and this is for this one now what we are going to do uh, we are going to make the fourth uh, rows of these but when uh, crocheting the fourth row we are going to connect the both parts I will explain you I will show you how we are going to connect these parts we will do it together now let's go on making the fourth row and also the connecting we will make together the crocheting the fourth row and also uh, the adding the parts first of all I am tidying I'm tidying the white row I am making a loop making one two three chains making a single making a double crochet in the same space like this we will go on crocheting this side like this one by one as we make in the previous rows 
you would remember this fourth row will be uh, totally 15 double crochet yes dear friends uh, make double crochets till the end of this side now we are starting to add for this reason we are making one chain I'm taking my other square in my hand and they will touch each other back to back back and back making like this this is the front side this is the front side of the other square after making one chain I'm inserting my hook in the corner of the other side other square I inserted my hook in that space and I will just make single crochet there making one chain again and I am coming to my small square in the same space and making double crochet in there dear friends we made two double crochet in this space now I will show you how we are going to add them I'm taking off my hook from here I am counting the double crochets at the other part one two at top of the second double crochet of the other part I'm taking my hook inserting my hook taking the loop from the other part like taking this yarn over and I am going on making double crochets I will make two more double crochet this is one this is two I am taking off my hook this is one this is two I am inserting my hook in the following second double crochet of the bigger part taking the loop taking this like this yarn over I am going on making the new double crochets I am making two more double crochet yes I made two more double crochet I am taking off the yarn from my hook I am going to the other part one two double crochet I am counting inserting my hook at top of the following second the double crochet taking the loop like this pull through yarn over and going on making two more double crochet as you see here we are making the adding uh, at each uh, at the end of crocheting uh, two, uh, two double crochet at each two double crochet we are going to make the adding let's uh, counting the double crochets one two at top of the second one I'm inserting my hook taking the loop of the other part like this pull through yarn over going on making the double crochet two more like this going to the other part of course I'm taking off the loop here one two at top of the second one I'm inserting my hook taking the loop pull through yarn over one two again I'm doing the same thing taking off the yarn I'm counting new two more double crochet this is one this is second at top of the second double crochet uh, I'm uh, inserting my hook taking the loop pull through yarn over you see the adding is nearly finished we are going on making double crochets this is one double crochet this is second double crochet in the space of the corner taking off my hook I am counting uh, the double crochets one two like this pull through and going to this space and making one double crochet at the corners uh, 
we, uh, we are making one double two and after that one double crochet what I mean I am making one chain turning back uh, inserting my hook in the space in the following uh, space of the corner making a single crochet there making one chain coming to the corner making two more double crochet and we are going on crocheting uh, as we did at the other rows uh, the only thing while uh, adding the two parts when we come to the end there are uh, two double crochet from this side left three double crochet from this side left for this reason first of all we are making two double crochet and adding with the other part later on uh, we are making one double crochet insert the space and uh, making one chain going to the other uh, making single crochet and adding this one uh, only at the edge uh, at the corner we are doing this but for the others we are making always uh, two double crochet after that adding two double crochet after that adding okay dear friends what we did let me show you we added we made these parts by adding later on uh, after finishing finishing this part uh, we are going to add the uh, pink one from now on at the square we are not going to add anything we are just making the standard double crochets as I explained how to make before come here and finish this square now we are starting to add the third square it will be like this we will go on adding from here and then we will turn this one so it will go on a triangle shape like this let's start we are taking our white rope adding the white rope in any corner of the square like this tidying this one I'm tidying two times like this making take a loop one two three chains we are making inserting our hooks in the same space like this we made two double crochet here we are going on making double crochets till the other side now we are starting adding we are taking these squares these the back side and we are touching them each other back to back this is front side this is front side we are making one chain inserting our hook at this corner space making a single crochet there making one chain and going on making two double crochet in the same space this is one and this is two taking this loop from the hook one two double crochet counting inserting my hook in the second double crochet taking the loop pull through and going on making double crochet in the pink one the adding is uh, actually the same with the other part one two double crochet we made take the hook from the from the loop going to the other part one two double crochet counting inserting the hook uh, at top of the second following double crochet taking the loop pull through and going on making double crochets in the following holes one two taking off going to the other part counting double crochets one two in the 
top of the second double crochet inserting my hook taking the loop like this pull through yarn over inserting our hook there one double crochet two double crochet making taking off the loop one two at top of the second double crochet inserting our hook taking the loop making pull through and making two double crochet in the following chain holes like this taking off going again to the other part and counting double crochets one two at the top of the second double crochet inserting our uh, hook taking this loop again pull through uh, taking yarn over and making double crochets again this is one this is two taking off one double crochet two double crochet in the second double crochet taking the uh, hook taking the loop pull through one double crochet two double crochet one chain and you see here in the middle of this inserting our hook making single stitch making one chain coming here in the space and going on making double crochet this is one this is two after making two double crochet taking the hook off one two double crochet one two counting and at top of the second double crochet we are inserting our hook like this going on making double crochet one two after making two double crochet I am taking off my hook again one two double crochet I'm counting inserting my hook in the second double crochet taking the loop pull through yarn over going to the making two double crochet it will go on like this till the end of this row dear friends in the same mentality in the same technique I added uh, till the end of this row I am making two chains inserting my hook in the same space and now I will go on uh, crocheting this side in the standard uh, crocheting technique double crochet we are making one by one inserting our hook at top of each following double crochet like this let's come to the end dear friends I finished crocheting this row now I am in the space inserting my hook there and making two more double crochet there making one two chains inserting my hook at top of the first starting chain making a slip stitch there making one two chains in order to fix it and just cutting the rope dear friends as you see the adding is finished very neatly like this we finished our second cup but uh, our work is uh, didn't our work didn't finish because we are going to make these sides we are taking our white rope in our hand and we are starting in one of the corners we will make two rows first of all let's tie it I'm tying two times I am taking the loop making one two three chains and I'm making one more chain uh, we are skipping two double crochet one 
we are skipping this one and this one we are inserting our hook in the third double crochet like this and in the same space we are making totally three double crochet like this now we are making two chains one two double crochet we are sk skipping inserting our hook in the third double crochet and in the same hole we are making totally three double crochet like this making two chains one two one two holes you know these double crochet we are skipping inserting our hook at top of the third double crochet and in this space we are making totally three double crochet like this dear friends now we are making the first row of this all around this uh, triangle we are going to make this I finished crocheting this side and I am at the top and at the top in the corner space I also made uh, three double crochets making two chains and skipping again two double crochet inserting our hook in the at top of the third double crochet and making three double crochets over there I mean normally when we come to the corner we are making uh, two double crochet here two chains and also in the same space two double crochet we made this but when we make this border we are not doing anything we are just making three double crochet here and we are not doing anything but this and going on crocheting like this okay make also this one I came to the top of the other corner after making three double crochets in the space of this corner I am making two chains and one two double crochet skipping inserting my hook in the third double crochet making totally three double crochets in this space like this making two double crochet skipping one two double crochet inserting our hook in the third one and making totally three double crochet in this uh, space now uh, go on like this till the end dear friends I came to the end of this row as well I will connect this part after making two chains I am inserting my hook in the second chain of uh, this hole and connecting this uh, at this part uh, there are two holes but it's not important now making one two three chains now we are in the second row and inserting three double crochet in this row like this making two chains going to the following space of this previous row and making three more double crochets in that space as well one two chains going to the following space and making three more double crochets like this all around the second corner of the border you are just going to make this one you are just going to repeat the same dear friends let's make all around the triangle and come here I came to the end of this row as well I am making two chains and connecting these two sides together by making slip stitch dear friends it's been like this now we are at the last end we are going to make this 
we are doing these last ends only here and here we are not doing anything here because this will be the below side uh, of this bralette and uh, we don't need it so first of all making one chain inserting our hook in the following and making single stitch going to the following and making single stitch making one two three four chains you see at the beginning of this chain I'm inserting my hook and making a single stitch over there making one chain and going to the following hole going to the following we made we are making two chains and after making two chains we are making four chains yes let's make four chains one two three four at the bottom of this chain I'm inserting my hook like this and making a single stitch and making two more single crochet one two three four chains inserting our hook at the bottom of the four chains making a single crochet there and one by one going on single crochets after making two single crochet making again one two three four inserting our hook at the bottom of this four chains making a single crochet dear friends it's going on like this uh, it's going to repeat always each other and come here uh, I will show you how we are connect the both sides uh, you can go on come for example till here dear friends I'm nearly at the end of this row so uh, I should be careful because I am going to add uh, these parts so I am counting the double crochets here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 uh, there should be also 11 here it's starting here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 these will be uh, the beneath side of uh, the bralette so I am making a uh, remark here stitch remark like this there are two uh, double crochets with three pieces left so I am starting adding this first of all making one chain inserting my hook in, uh, in the fifth uh, peak one two three four five this is a uh, fifth making single stitch making one chain make pardon yeah making two chains inserting our hook in the following and making two single crochet one two chains making going to the following peak single stitch one two chains making going to the following uh, and making two single stitch two chains going to the following one single stitch two chains two single crochet two chain going to the following peak 
making single stitch two chains turning back making one two two chains going to the following peak making single stitch one two chains going to the following space taking this off one two single crochet making one chain we can make one more and cutting the yarn we finished adding the two parts to each other now uh, we are going to start making the below part we are taking our white rope in our hand we will go on making the same pattern first of all I'm going to tie it one two times I'm tidying in order to tie it fig uh, well and then I'm going to make a loop I will make one two three chains I'm going to make totally three double crochet in the space two chains going to the following and making three more double crochet in this space making two chains going to the following space and making three more double crochet in the space the pattern will repeat always like this we are going to make all around till the other end like this dear friends I finished this row as well now I'm making one chain and cutting the yarn dear friends now it is time to make uh, the below part for this reason we need uh, some uh, squares like this I made them before you let me show them to you like this I made yes as you see I made them three rows because we will uh, use the fourth row when we uh, connect these parts with the below side and I cleaned the other part I hide the remaining ropes because I uh, left one for you I will show you how I did it first of all we are pulling this and we are being sure that uh, the hole is very tight later on I am making knots at the bottom of this remaining rope if I do not make this uh, knot then the the hole in the center can be uh, can be large later on after using the crop for some time for this reason it is uh, good to uh, make knots two times later on you know I cut some some of it it is still some remaining rope but it's not too much I'm taking a hook in my hand but uh, the head of the hook is smaller because when I work at the back of the square while hiding the remaining rope uh, it is easier it is easier for me to work with a smaller head hook like this like this a few times I am doing this I am hiding the remaining rope between the stitches I am doing this as if I am crocheting as you see one moment yes now I can cut the last remaining one The rope is uh, in safe now now there is another remaining rope here I am doing the same thing for this as well you see the chains here I am making pull through between the stitches that's all The 
is just safe now. I can cut it. As you see, I cleaned the back side. Okay. Okay, dear friends, first of all, you should make these squares. Uh, later on, you should clean them at the back side. And then we can go on making the below side of the uh, top. You will remember uh, we finished the last end like this with granny, uh, granny stitches. But uh, the stitches of our uh, square is always one by one double crochet. So we are going to go one in the same uh, stitch with uh, white color. Let's go on, not wasting any time. I am fixing the rope. I am doing it by tidying. Two times tidying I am. At this row, the only thing we should do is just make double crochets one by one at each stitch. First of all, I made a loop. One, two chains I am making. I am inserting my hook in the same stitch, same hole. Now, one by one, I am crocheting. While crocheting, I am keeping this yarn remaining rope uh, on the stitch. So, at the same time, I am hiding it. Uh, when we are on the block, we are crocheting one by one in the stitches. But uh, when we are in the space, we are making two double crochet in this space. Like this. I made two double crochet here. Now I'm inserting my hook one by one on top of the block. One. Two, as you see, now I am making two double crochet in the space, three double crochet on top of the block. I am inserting my hook at every single uh, stitch, every single space. It's going on like this, very neatly, very nice. Yes, dear friends, uh, go on like this, as I explained to you, till you come to the other side. Dear friends, I'm going on uh, making this uh, double crochets. Uh, uh, I, I'm making two on the block, two in the space, two on the block, two in the space. First of all, I made three on the block, two on the space, three on the block, two on the space, but it's been much and it's curved so i made it uh, i started making from the beginning and this time made two on the block two on the space two on the block two on the space according to the thickness of my yarn it is better uh, if you have the same problem you can go on now what i uh, what i do now okay i'm going on still going on to yes dear friends i came to the end of other side i'm finished it's been like this very neatly yes after finishing this side i'm making one chain and cutting my yarn now we are ready to connect the squares with the bralette i will make two blue and then one pink like this i'm starting in one of the corner i'm tidying the yarn as i did when I connect these. I am making two chains. I am making a double crochet and crocheting this one with a white color as we did previous squares. Come to the end. I will go on crocheting like this this side and this side we will make the connecting on this side okay let's crocheting in the same standard way uh, at these two sides let's meet uh, at the last one i will show you how we are going to uh, 
uh, at this part actually you know how to do from here but anyhow I will show you once again yes I finished the three sides uh, now I am taking a stitch marker in my hand I am putting them back to back I am connecting with stitch mark uh, this edge okay now I can go on adding this what we are doing we are in the corner for this reason we are making one chain after making one chain one moment we are being careful okay this one slip stitch making one chain going to the corner again and making two double crochet over there making two double crochet one two and then I'm taking the hook from my from the loop turning back I am counting two more double crochet one two you see one stitch two stitch I'm inserting my hook at top of the two taking the loop and pull through turning the other side and going on making two double crochet taking the loop after making two double crochet counting one two stitch as you see at top of the two at top of the second one I'm taking the loop pull through yarn over and this side I'm going on making double crochet and the adding is going on like this actually I explained to you how to make it while uh, making the cups it's going to be the same okay dear friends let's go on till this end uh, by adding this first square meanwhile let me show you how we are going to add the corner I made uh, two double crochet in the space making one chain inserting our hook at the edge of this side like this making one chain inserting my hook at top yarn over pull through slip stitch one chain cutting the yarn and we made we finished adding the first one like this we will go on adding the other part as well it is this one I will show you once again how I am adding the next part first of all I'm tidying the yarn again I'm tying it two times one two chain I'm making I'm making another double crochet I will go on adding in the corner it looks uh, easier for me I'm going to the center which I connected the two parts here inserting my hook there single stitch turning back and making two double crochet this is one this is two and I will go on adding this part 
What am I doing? Taking the loop. Uh, I'm counting two stitch one, two. In the second one, I am inserting my hook, taking the loop, pull through, and going on making double crochet. Dear friends, two double crochet I am making, taking the loop. I'm counting again one, two double crochet at the top of the second double crochet I'm inserting my hook taking the loop pull through and going on making the double crochet two times after making two times double crochet I'm repeating the same thing taking the loop inserting my hook at top of the second double crochet of the other part taking the loop pull through going on making two more double crochet okay dear friends it's very easy as you see uh, we are going adding like this till the corner I connected this side I will go on crushing double crochet one side also the other side and the fourth side I'm connecting this one with the below part of the bralette Dear friends, I finished adding all the parts at the below side. Let me show you like this. Uh, I added two from one side, two from the other side for the back. When we turn it back, when we fold it, it's going to be like this. I will adjust the back sides uh, with the laces. I also made the lace. I will explain you how to finish uh, this. Uh, I already explained you how to add these squares one and one uh, to other. After finishing uh, adding all the parts, I made. Let me show you closely. One, two, three rows of uh, granny stitch one block one space one block one space i made like this as three rows i have already explained you how to make this uh, block and space granny stitch when i uh, crochet here when i crochet here if you go back to uh, the previous moments minutes of the video you will see after making three rows uh, of granny stitch uh, with block and uh, space, uh, I finished the last end like this. I mean this. I have already explained you how to make uh, these uh, side ends. You can go back to the previous uh, minutes of my video. I explained you very closely. Uh, for this reason, I didn't explain uh, again and again because I didn't want to make you bored and the video will be very long. So, and uh, after finishing the blow side like this, I made um, one row single stitch. I tied it, my yarn here and I made one row single stitch. I came here, I made let me show you. I made these spaces. I we will use these spaces uh, for the laces when adjusting the bralette at the back side. Uh, I made five chains first, and I uh, skipped one, two double crochet. I inserted my hook in the third double crochet, and I made this space once again, once again, once again. I made these spaces one two three four five six seven spaces I made totally I made uh, five chains I skipped two double crochet in some places I skipped three double crochet uh, that's uh, not so important uh, and then uh, I made these spaces like this I inserted uh, for example I skipped two double crochet inserted my hook in the third double crochet and made a single stitch here and then I made five chains skipped two double crochet inserted my hook uh, in the third double crochet and made a single stitch 
Like this, I came here. After making the seventh space, I turned back and I made uh, single crochets on these uh, chains, on these spaces that I made with chains. All around, I'm making single stitch and when I come here, uh, I made uh, the, these side ends. I have already explained you how to make these at my previous uh, minutes uh, of this. If you don't remember, you can go back to my previous moments of the video and you can learn it. That's all like this, these dear friends. I also made the same at this side as well. I also made seven spaces here. I also made one row single stitch and one coming back. I made these ends. I have already explained you how to make these ends at my previous minutes of the video. Uh, that's all dear friends. Actually, it is easy like this. Uh, I told you I have already made uh, this lace before you. Uh, I will also explain you now when making the lace here at the other cup of the bralet. Uh, meanwhile, uh, let me tell you, I have already made uh, this uh, lace. I will uh, use this lace when connecting the both uh, back parts of the bralette. First of all, I made uh, chains and after returning, I made single stitch one by one on these uh, chains. Uh, I have already explained you how to make chains, how to make single stitch on the chains in the previous minutes of my uh, video. You will see them all. For this reason, I didn't want to take your time a lot. I am taking my yarn in my hand. I am finding the top end uh, of this cup. And this is the end. At the top, uh, you don't need to make this last end. You can make this only with single crochet. Because I will not use this end. So. First of all, I am uh, tidying my yarn at this top and then I am making four chains, one, two, three, four. After making four chains, let me show you here, one, two, three, four, five. Totally, I will make five double crochet. But uh, when pull through those double crochets, uh, I will make the pull through not two times as we make uh, while making double crochet. We will make pull through in three times. One, two, three. The only difference is this. Once again, I'm making one, two, three. Once again, I'm making one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Once again, I will make one, two, three, like this, dear friends. One, two, three chains. I'm making, turning back, and going on making the double crochets but uh, in three pull through one two three the only thing you should be careful is this three time pull through one two three like this one two three times pull through once again one two, three times pull through. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five pieces of double crochet with three times pull through I made. I am turning back. I am making one, two, three chains again. I am making again five more double crochets and always with three times pull through. The only thing uh, while making the lace at the next side is this, dear friends.
Once again, I'm making one, two, three times. Once again, I'm making one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. When we complete four, five pieces of uh, double crochet with triple through, we are uh, turning back and making three times uh, three uh, chains and going on making the same. Always repeat one another. Let me uh, show you uh, how many centimeters of neck side uh, lace I made. One moment. Okay, one moment. I'm measuring it. Um, minus 49 centimeters, dear friends. If you like uh, longer like me, you can make 49, 48 or 50 centimeters. Or uh, if you don't like this, mu uh, this much of uh, long, you can make 35, 40. That completely depends on you. And let me also show you how many centimeters I made the backside uh, lace. I will also measure it. Yes, when I measure it, I saw it is 130 centimeters, dear friends. This is also long because I like uh, longer lace. But if you don't like this much of long lace, you can uh, cut it off at uh, 100 centimeters. That's again completely depends on you. Okay, dear friends, finish the next side la lace as I explained to you and let's finish making this beautiful bralet. Dear friends, thank you so much for watching this video till now. Hope you enjoyed this project. Hope you enjoyed this, uh, this beautiful top. Meanwhile, please remember to subscribe my YouTube channel for my further videos and activate the info ring in order to be informed about my future videos uh, in advance. Thank you so much. Uh, see you in the coming videos.